That's why you like that. Not the fucking music, you like the music. No, 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 This is DJ Television, and we're here with Queen. Ciao. This is uh, John Deacon from Queen. Ciao, DJ Television. Roger Taylor from Queen. Hello, mate. DJ TV. Hello. OK. This is the first time you've been on tour since 82, when you do that Japanese tour. Why did it take so long to get back on the road? Because uh, we didn't want to tour for a little while, did we? And also, we had to make a new album first. And uh, yeah. that took a long time, didn't it? Yeah, we got very tired, uh, uh, and we'd been working a lot, yeah. and making a lot of records, doing a lot of touring. Yeah. We decided we wanted to take some time off, so we thought... And then we just got together again, made an album, thought we'd get it back on the road again. It's nice to be back. Simple, though. This word? Sounds also simple that way. <laughs> it was actually it was quite a hard time because we felt we were getting too close to everything and um, you know how it is. You know, when you get too close you have to go away. You know, so we need to go away. And now we feel much better. It works because we're back on the road and it feels good to be back. Yeah. Why did it take so long to come to Italy? I mean this is the first time you've been here in concert. Well, we've always been told that there were difficulties uh, in, in playing here. It's not, not the easiest place to play in the world, yeah. and I think there were some sort of political problems. But um, we've wanted to come to Italy for years, and uh, we, so we thought this was the right time, really. Yeah. It's a shame we couldn't have come earlier, because I'm yeah. sure it would, have, it would have been, you know, very good for us as well. And also, um, you know, it was, it was just one of those things we never dared take the risk before, did we? Because we always, you hear, you know, quite a few stories about problems at shows in Italy. Also, it's like an accident of history, because you find that if you... You find that if, if you sell records someplace, then you want to go there, obviously, you know. Yeah. And in Italy, we never was never the, a very big place for us. So we always said, OK, we go to Italy, but first we have to go here because we sell lots of records and they want us, you know. So it, you tend to sort of go where you get, where the tide goes. Until you know? Radio Gaga came out and then you went Radio to Radio Gaga did very well and, yeah. we, and we did San Remo, which was something different for us. Yeah, and, so. and now it seems like... <laughs> You know, you hear about groups doing like one song or one album and splitting up. You guys have had 13 albums out. How do you manage to stay together? Well, we're, we're, we're sensible. <laughs> we're not stupid. We're staying apart. <laughs> as much as possible. Now, there's no point in, in just in forming a band and then getting some success and getting so big-headed because you get successful. You know, you're too good to, to talk to each other and you want to break up. It's, it's a waste of time. Yeah. Who thinks of the ideas for your videos? They're pretty theatrical. I do. 
<laughs> very modest. But they come from the, they come from different uh, different ideas each time we do a song. You know, it depends on the song and who's directing it and everything. You know. Yes, yes. Usually, usually for everything we do. Uh, an idea will come from somewhere and then we talk about it and, and it will grow, you know, because for the stage, for the videos. Yeah. Generally there's somebody else involved, you know, like there will be a director in the case of a video. You know, but we always talk about it and we evolve it together. Have you done a video for Hammer to Fall, the new single? Yes. What's that like? It's totally it's not what the others were. It's, it's really us live on stage and that's it. Yeah. And I think we're very pleased with it. Yeah. Very, very pleased. And it's because it was time, having done all the stories and, and the arty farty stuff, you know, it was time to, to show up that we can still play. Because I think the people who only see the videos forgot that. Yeah. Especially in America, possibly. So it's, um, you'll like it. Yeah, it's quite good because it actually shows us as we are now with this, t with this, the same show on tour now. So it gives people a, a good idea of what they would see if they came to the show. Okay, Roger, you've had two solo albums out. What about both of you two? John and Brian, uh, any solo plans? Not yet for me, because I can't sing, so I'd have to use somebody else. But, uh, <laughs> so you have solo, solo plans. Do you have any plans on that? Well, not Anything at the moment, solo? because we're going to be very busy with Queen again. You know, we've had the time when we were doing our solo things, really. And now we're going to be touring, I think, for the next year, off and on. And there won't be that much time anymore. Yeah. Roger has a solo album out. And a straight now. frontier. Yes. Yeah, it's very nice. Thanks. So after this tour, what next? What happens to Queen? Another tour somewhere else. Um, and then I think, I don't know, hopefully we'll make another album next year. And, and I think then we might go to America. Okay. And Australia. And Japan. And New Zealand. <laughs> And uh, Hong Kong, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anywhere there where people would like us to go and play. Okay. I'd like to thank you. If you don't mind saying goodbye to DJ Television, I'll let you do the honors. Goodbye, DJ Television. Thank you very much. Okay. Goodbye, DJ Television. This is John Deacon. John, thank you for having us. Grazie. Okay. That's it. Good, okay. I think uh, 